Connor, four wins from four at home this season. How impressed have you been with the players' display at the heart of the season? To be honest, we've been impressed with the displays home and away. Um, for whatever reason, we've we've got our rewards more so at home than we have done away from home. Um, we've had a few errors in our back line away from home and probably not took our chances as much as we have at home. So it's an interesting one, but I think performance-wise, it's been pretty consistent across the eight games. So we're happy with performance levels um, and thankfully at home, we've managed to make it a bit of a fortress and obviously won four out of four, as you said. I guess, obviously, going a goal down as well in the first half. How pleased are you with the response from, from the team to, to get back and, and not give up and get that late winner? This is something we always touch on. If if we do go a goal down, never panic. We stick to our beliefs, our philosophy and how we play. And I don't think it was too long after they scored that we equalised. And It was an unbelievable team goal. Um, the quality within the goal is excellent. Um, to be honest, second half, we pretty much penned them in for the 4.45 and the goal felt like it was coming. I think sometimes when, when their goalie makes the save from Schultz, you might think it's not our night again. Um, but thankfully, Brownie, it's mad what having a centre forward can do for 17 minutes. So he obviously comes on and gets the winner, which is excellent. Yeah, you mentioned about Reese Brown. Obviously, we're just over a month into the season now. We've had a fair share of injuries as well. Um, with Reese Brown making his return on Tuesday, would we like to see anyone else return maybe this weekend? We've got, we got a couple that are really, really close, um, potentially too soon this weekend, but should be back involved for Willstone next week. So we've got bodies coming back. Obviously, we had a few couple of injuries on Monday with Reese Hall Johnson and Idris. So I think Reese is looking like a longer term one around Christmas time. So we're good for him and obviously because he's a big player for the group. So we're sad to lose him and Idris could be a few weeks as well with a knee injury. So listen, everyone goes through it. It's, it's the way it goes. It's such an intense division. Obviously games come thick and fast. Um, so we're expecting to pick up injuries while we strengthen the group so much. So you can see the depth in our squad. You've got two young centre halves that came in two his night and did an unbelievable job. So we feel we strengthened the squad really well over the summer so it, it, we, we seem to be trying to deal with injuries as best we can but we've, um, we've picked up some good points considering injuries so we, we'll hope to bring players back and, and get over that period. Yeah and we've, we've gone into the loan market as well with the sound of Bailey Hobson on loan from Chesterfield what are you hoping he can bring to the group? Isn't he, he's a tenacious lad he's, he's combative in midfield excellent gets around the pitch makes loads of contacts good in possession bit of an all action midfielder really and we, we've monitored him since his loan at Kitty last year and to be fair to Cookie, thankfully we've got a good relationship with Cookie in Chesterfield and he's allowed us to have him for, for a month initially because he's played a part in pretty much most of their games this year and done brilliant for him. So we're very thankful um, to Cookie for letting, allowing us to have him. He's an excellent player we've monitored for so long. So he'll add some, add some brilliant bits to our midfield within the group. Yeah. Speaking of Braintree then, they've had a good start to the season for one of the league's new boys as well. So what kind of opponents do you think they will be? Really well organised, uh, physical. Obviously, we know that the threat that Innie Effiong and Johnny Kinley pose, two physical centre-forwards, so we know what threat they bring. They're obviously really, really compact and tight defensively, as shows in the amount of clean sheets they've had. I think they had three nil nils in a row, or three clean sheets in a row at some point during the season. So, tough team to beat. Um, you always got to have your guard up in this division, so uh, you know what you know what people can be like, they can expect, because they're a newly promoted team, it should be an easy game, but it's never the case in this division, so we've got to be at it, we've got to make sure we apply ourselves the same way we did choose and I thought the work rate and the the, the performance on Tuesday night was outstanding. So if we bring that into Saturday, we should hopefully be okay. Yeah, you sort of touched on on the defence and the clean sheets. There. Obviously, Joe Greenwood started the season with Braintree on loan, kept three clean sheets in a row, like you just said. So obviously, building on that and and, and how defensive they are, that must be a, a key sticking point as going into tomorrow's game. Hundred percent. I mean, obviously, with the injury problems we had and the lack of bodies, obviously we had, we had to bring Grimmers back. So that's a loss of Braintree. Obviously, he wouldn't have been able to play against us this weekend, even if he was still there. But to credit to what Grimmers has done, he went out on loan, got on team of the week two or three times and came back in for us Tuesday and was excellent. So it'd be a big loss for them and he was a part of their defence that done the three clean sheets. So we know how much of a, a great defender he is and he's done it for us Tuesday night. So they they won't change though. With or without Grimmers, they'll still be set up in the same way and they've still got some excellent players. Obviously, Fifield I know well. Um, Langston, good defender. Louis Ainsley obviously was here for a little bit two years ago. So they've got some excellent defenders and you can see that within their results and their goalie to be fair experience at this level as well so they've got a lot of, lot of good players in their defensive third and we know the threat they've always gone forward as well we've got to try and limit restarts if we can thanks for your time Connor. cheers guys